I was involved in Green Left Weekly from its inception because I, I'm totally convinced that we do need to break free of this capitalist system that we are drowning in. Green Left was formed in 19, started in 1991 and uh, it started as Green Left precisely because they wanted to help bring the environment and social justice movements together. Climate change clock is ticking on us and for the first time ever you know there's this huge contradiction between what we need to do to survive you know not not just for the human human species to survive but for you know to keep this planet a livable place and the, the narrow interests of a powerful tiny minority in the world today and Green Left Weekly you know encapsulates um, a lot of what we need to discuss we need to organize around to try and tackle this problem. I think Green Left's always fulfilled an important need. Carrying the stories about campaigns that the mainstream media likes to ignore. Green Left for more than 25 years has played a central role in being a voice for uh, left and progressive uh, movements here in Australia. Uh, Green Left has almost become a, a catchphrase for whenever the, the right-wing trolls want to uh, attack someone, they just say they're part of the Green Left. Well obviously there's a massive push by the Green Left right around Australia. Green Left Weekly has just really cemented its role as a really important voice for those who don't have a voice anywhere else in Australia's extremely monopolised media landscape. <laughs> One of the objectives of Green Left Weekly was to be a voice for people in struggle, a voice for people who are denied a platform, who are denied the right to have their positions put forward in society. Green Left Weekly seeks out these communities that we know have a very important message and we, and we provide a platform for them. <laughs> So I'm, I'm a, a young uh, union, unionist and a union delegate. Uh, Green Left Weekly is important to me because it's very rare that we get our stories told in any kind of um, positive manner through the mainstream media. Whereas Green Left Weekly provides a bottom-up, uh, from the workers' perspective, way of, of sharing our stories in language that we understand and, um, and from the perspective of the people who are actually out there fighting for our rights as workers every day. If we really want to find out what real news is and the news representing the people then read Green Left Weekly. One of the strong points of Green Left Weekly has been its, its internationalism and by this I mean that we've always reached out to others who are participating in a similar struggle uh, all around the world. I cover mostly European and Italian politics, so the Italian political situation, where uh, the rise of fascism is, is really alarming at the moment. Green Life Weekly, it's one of the few newspapers in Australia that covers these kind of issues. Regularly, when we're selling Green Life Weekly, we're asked, oh, well, you know, why don't you go to Venezuela and find out the truth for yourself? Well, we took up that challenge and we've been writing reports about everything that we found. And we didn't do like the very few journalists who go there from the mainstream media and just hang out in opposition areas in, in the rich part of Caracas. And when we were there, we went all the way down to the border with Colombia. We travelled through the rural states of Barinas. We spent time in the poor neighbourhoods in Caracas. Because these are the voices that Green Left is interested in listening to. I think what Green Left does, which is different to you know, other, other media, is that it also links up news about things going on in the rest of the world with the solidarity movements that are happening here in Australia and in other countries as well. Being a part of a project like Green Left Weekly shows people more than just our own little circles that there are so many people around the world doing what we're doing, essentially fighting for a better world. And really I think that's one of the best antidotes you can get today in, in a world that's increasingly chaotic, dystopian, unjust. We want to continue to be able to run those articles written by community activists about the campaigns they're involved in, uh, run the interviews with the activists that are leading on the ground and the progressive movements for change, everything from high school students organising strikes at their schools like for climate action, through to trade unionists campaigning for better wages and conditions, through to feminists who are having important victories in the last few years, particularly when it comes to pro-choice legislation. And that's what Green Left Weekly has been about and that's what we pledge to continue to be about. It's serious about trying to be part of the solution. Today needs to consider becoming 
a supporter of Green Left Weekly. For as little as $5 a month, you can actually be part of the solution. You can actually be part of the new movement that is urgently needed to transform society.